I'd like you to focus then on the second factor, that is whether Mr. Floyd uh, posed an immediate threat to the safety of the officers or others at the time during the restraint period. No, he did not. And why not? Because he was in the prone position, he was handcuffed, um, he was not attempting to resist, he was not attempting to uh, assault the officers, kick, punch, or anything of that nature. To how much force was reasonable for the defendant to use on Mr. Floyd after Mr. Floyd was handcuffed, placed in the prone position, and not resisting? Yes. And what my, is that opinion? My opinion was that uh, no force should have been used once uh, he was in that position. Don't forget to like and subscribe.